What's going on everyone, it's the Fake Weeb here, and today I'm going to be reviewing chapter 169 for Jujutsu Kaisen, as we got another banger from Geki Ekutami. Now before I start, I would just like to say that there won't be any new chapters next week, as it's the traditional Shonen Jump holiday break, so no Jujutsu Kaisen, no Black Clover, no My Hero Academia, no Blue Box, everything will basically be on break. But that being said, I still have some video ideas to cover for the break, as Jump Festa will be coming soon or maybe already has depending whenever you watch this video so super excited for whatever news jjk gets hopefully a season 2 announcement but yeah as always guys i would kindly appreciate it if you can drop a like on the video as that would help me out a ton and consider subscribing to the channel for some more awesome jujutsu kaisen manga videos appearing in your sub feed with all that out of the way let's get back to the video. All right, so the first panel we see is a color page of Yuta versus Ghetto. This looks very clean, and it makes me super excited to see this ultimate fight animated, because obviously this is to promote the movie, and it works for me because I'm even more hyped to see Yuta on the big screen. Hopefully they announce an international release date in Jump Festa. We continue from the last chapter with Takaba being on Megumi's side and he says that he's 35 years old and can tell who's evil by looking at people's faces. He mentions that Megumi's face looks pretty evil, and I mean, it makes sense as he literally killed someone not too long ago. Reggie and Hazinoki wonder if he's a modern or old sorcerer, so they ask Takaba, hey, which one are you? Now, Takaba thought that the question was intended as in, which one are you, funny or not? And Hazanoki is like, no, I, I meant which era are you from? But he gets cut off instantly as Takaba starts explaining why he wears this ridiculous costume, and apparently it's to pay homage to a hero that first made him laugh. I mean, no kidding. I guess when you're a kid and you see some sort of hero in this outfit, you would think he's the funny type of hero and probably laugh a lot. He swears on his costume, that he can't make a joke that doesn't land, but after he tells the joke, no one laughs, and everyone is just in complete silence with a straight face. The joke itself did not land properly at all, and I'll explain the joke in the end of my review. Takapa starts calling them a crappy audience, and I love how Megami thinks to himself that these guys give off the same vibe as Toto. Definitely Takapa for sure, he's, you know, very enthusiastic, and I like his coming line. Despite them being a crappy audience, I will not abandon you guys because I'm a comedian and drop kicks the shit out of Hazinoki. Reggie feels that his cursed energy levels seem to have spiked with that attack. Megumi comes from Reggie's shadows below and tries to grab his receipt but Reggie dodges him in time. Megumi starts explaining to Takaba that they'll need to separate the two of them and that Hazinoki's cursed technique seems to be ripping off his body parts and turning them into explosives. If you would like more of an explanation of Reggie and Hazinoki's curse technique, then you can check out my video I made on the channel, which will be linked in the description. The interesting part is making me thinking that Hazinoki has reversed curse technique, which is what I thought of in my last chapter review. We don't know if the regeneration bit is a part of his curse technique, uh, which is what most people think, or maybe he can actually use reversed curse technique, and making me thinking he can might mean he he can. So, uh, yeah, learning how to use reverse curse technique, Reggie knowing a lot about Kenjaku, these guys are definitely ancient sorcerers from the past. But the best part of this whole thing is Takaba being super close to Megumi when listening to him, and Megumi's like, Bro, just, just, just scooch, scooch over, you're, you're a bit too close. Megami asks Kogane to provide information about Higiduma, and he sees that Higiduma only has one point, which confirms that Yuji had changed the rule. Because the rule is added, Megami no longer needs to stay here anymore, since Sumiki can be saved by transferring points. However, Reggie responds, saying that he won't just let Megami run off. He will take revenge on Megami for killing Hadi. 
the guy who Megumi killed in the last chapter. Megumi tells Takaba to try and take Hazinoki's points before killing him. Takaba agrees to help Megumi and says that he won't do something that would permanently take away someone's smile. And Megumi is like, yeah, yeah, just win the battle. And so it begins. Takaba versus Hazinoki. Hazinoki rips off one of his eyes and teeth and as it heads towards Takaba, my man just somehow has a paper plane in his hand and deflects the body parts which explode in midair. Just what is Takaba's curse technique? Because after a couple of blows and pulling a thousand year of death move from Naruto, he strongly kicks Hazunoki again which crashes him into a building. Megumi is impressed and says that he's glad Takaba's not his enemy. Takaba says that he's always wanted to hear someone say that once. As Takaba wins for now, this probably won't be the last for Hazunoki, as Reggie mentions that he will come back and fight seriously this time as Takaba was underestimating him. Megumi says that Reggie should worry about himself, as now, with the rule added, stealing his points won't matter, so he can now fight earnestly with no mercy. The chapter ends with the start of Megumi versus Reggie. Oh my god. Goodness, what a chapter from Geke Akutami this week. I, I mean, I'm really curious to see how and, and what Takaba's curse technique is. I mean, I, th I still think it's related to the mention of the ratio 7 to 3, because when he drop kicks Hazanoki on the first attack, Regi says that his cursed energy levels spiked up, so I wonder if it's like some sort of equalizer curse technique. Um, maybe if his joke doesn't land, his cursed energy goes up. I don't know, that's just a wild random guess with my morning brain. But yeah, I mean, I would recommend that you read this chapter both on Friday and Sunday with the Viz translation and the fan translations because apparently when the Utahame chapter came out, the, the side story chapter 168.1, a lot of people said that the Viz translations didn't work well with Gege Ekutami's Japanese, and it looks the same with this chapter, at least the chapters that are going to be Takaba eccentric because his jokes and puns seem hard to understand for the western viewers as the translations don't necessarily meet the intent of the Japanese dialogue, so definitely would recommend you guys check out both the fan translations and the Viz translations just to see which gets you the closest and better understanding. And to explain the joke from the beginning of the chapter, Hazunoki was basically asking Takaba whether he's a modern or past sorcerer, and Takaba replies in Japanese with this kanji, Yoke no oswa. And that's a popular phrase in Japanese. Yoke no oswa means that's none of your business. But Takaba actually takes out the wa, the w a, and adds Wi Fi to it, saying that's none of your busy net. Net correlating to Wi Fi because of the network, and that explains why there's this huge Wi Fi symbol in the background. Overall, it just makes for a terrible gag. I can't even properly explain it. But yeah, he's definitely an interesting character for sure. I think he's gonna end up being someone I really like or someone I can't stand, but even with his terrible puns, he was still very humorous in this chapter, and I can't wait to see Hazunoki vs Takaba round 2 and Megumi vs Reggie. Let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts on this chapter. Did you love it? Hate it? Have anything else to say or theorize? Have any thoughts on Takaba? I'd love to hear what you guys have to say as I do read the comment section. But, uh, yeah. That's all I have to say for my Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 169 review. Thank you all so much for watching this video. It's been the Fake Weeb, and I'm out. Peace.